All right, so I figure before we got into the nitty gritty of, you know, doing stuff on the car, I'd give you guys an overview on what's been done and what we're about to do. So let's do it. All righty, so this lovely can of pineapples started off life as an original 1992 Toyota Paseo. Uh, when I got it, there was nothing done to it. Um, the only thing I had was an amp and the uh, speakers were updated. But on that, that was pretty much it. So what I have had, what I've done to it personally, um, is a bunch of little things. So starting off the engine, um, I went to a Honda half size radiator, the original one cracked, and instead of getting an original one, I just went to, for a Honda half size. This is almost half the weight, this is about three quarters of the weight of the original. Um, no AC power steering, I got rid of that. Um, the All the air box stuff, I got rid of it and I made this um, intake here. So I got some custom piping that I found and this is an eBay um, air filter right here. So this air filter going up to the coupling, um, that was like 30 bucks or so. And then I made this heat shield. It's a no parking anytime sign. Um, <laughs> fun fact, this is also a sign. This is a lifeguard sign for my radiator shroud. I also poured in and polished the head, the intake runners on the intake and the exhaust uh, manifold as well, just matching everything up. So I matched the ports on the head to the exhaust manifold and the intake. Smoothed everything out, and again, and I, I pour and polish the head. So lap the valves, everything. Um, so this thing flows really good. It used to struggle around 5,500, 6,000 RPM. Now it just doesn't care. It goes up to 7,200 7, any day of the week. I don't know, it's been running great. Only problem has been the oil leaks. So this one I found leaks over here between the head and the block. Um, it's also le leaking down here by the distributor. I just haven't taken care of it and cleaned it at all. Didn't care to because I'm gonna replace the engine and do a complete overhaul. But that's pretty much what's been done in here. Um, nothing to the trans, just you know regular checks up, checkups on the seals, bearings. I've replaced the wheel bearings a couple times. Um, so the brakes, I got the, um, I got the pads and rotors off of eBay for some, I don't know, like 90 bucks, but they were performance pads and uh, rotors. Definitely, definitely got my money's worth out of these. The pads were super solid. They were um, apparently a Hawk HP variant um, and they had really good bite once they warmed up. Lasted a long time and 10 out of 10, would recommend. Um, but I'm going to be making my own Wilwood brake kit. So getting rid of these, and I got 11 inch disc brakes coming in. Um, well, I already have them, but I'm gonna do a brake conversion here. So I did that for the brakes. So also, the battery used to go here, um, obviously, like where's the battery? And I relocated it to the trunk. Uh, I now have a 3D printer, so I'm gonna make a little junction box at some point for my uh, connectors, connections, but right now it's just kind of floating right here between the the windshield washer tank and the fuse panel, but it doesn't it doesn't vibrate around, doesn't ground itself off, so it's good. Um, and that runs in through the firewall over here, down the center by the shifter into the back. Um, and then uh, tires, the original ones were 185, 60, uh, 14s. I ran those for a bit, those were a blast. Um, as soon as I wore down those tires to almost the, the uh, cords, I got these. These puppies are 15 by seven with an offset of 38 and they weigh not even 12 pounds, I believe. They're Kony KR1s, I think, something like that. They're super sweet, very lightweight. Um, definitely a big um, bonus for this car. And the, the tires are 195, 50, 15s. Dunlop Derez's DZ 102s. 10 out of 10 would recommend. They, uh, if you heat cycle them, they kind of go to shit, but for how long I've had them, which is three years, and I've done numerous track events and autocrosses with them, and I beat the shit out of them on the daily, would recommend. And Sway Bar is original up front. I haven't been able to find a new front one, but I have one ordered. Um, new bushings though, 
cam. I got the, the crash bolts is what they call them or the uh, cam bolts for the strut. So I have uh, a whole negative degree of camber up front and zero degrees toe. I used to have it towed out a little bit, but now I turned it back in a little bit. Um, rear, nothing special. Um, two months ago, well, a little while ago, I did the rear sway bar, super tight. It's a white line sway bar, 10 out of 10. This thing kind of wants to oversteer now, but also my tires are trash, like you can tell. Um, so uh, once I get new tires, well, once I uh, get this done and have new tires on and stuff and I tune out the suspension and get the balance going, we'll see how it really kicks in. But right now, I haven't been able to push it to the limits because I'm still getting used to the sway bar. It is a whole different animal. Um, again, the battery is relocated to the trunk here. Extra head. Um, and then I just have these puppies right here. These nice little quick connects and disconnects the battery. Um, one, this guy, the negative is grounded over here to the seat belt, right where uh, the seat belt mount is. And then uh, the other one runs all the way up to the engine bay. And then as far as the interior, um, about a little time ago, a month or so ago, I put in this racing seat. It's a Sparco R1 or something, R100, and i um, pretty happy with it. I used a sign that I stole for the mount. You can kind of get the theme here. I'm all about street signs. Um, so I used that to mount it. I'm going to be doing more of an official mounting here during my upgrade process um, because that is not, it's more of a template. So, and I need to sit lower. I'm pretty tall. So I need this seat to fully, I need to sit another two inches lower if I can, basically on the ground. So I can get that going. Um, my tachometer has never fully worked from since I got the car, which is apparently a common problem with these things. So I got a little one here. And then a um, little pressure sensor, short shifter, uh, another eBay light special. Um, this thing is amazing. You have to do a little bit of modification to make it work but it is solid. It's a little bit of a reach, so if you get the extension, you might want to get an extension to have the handle back here, but solid. Um, that's pretty much it. And my uh, little cheerleader, who is really struggling. All right. Um, <clears throat> onto the suspension here, I also had replaced all the original stuff with Coney shocks and an aftermarket spring. I forget the brand. You can might still be able to find them online, um, but they they're an inch and a half drop, and these things are solid. Um, the original suspension was all worn out and stuff, so I had to get new stuff. And the car is really tight with this. Ten out of ten would recommend. Um, if needed, I can see if I can find where I got these from but I don't know if they're still around or not, but they're fantastic springs. All righty, onto the stuff that we're gonna do. I've got BC Racing coilovers, um, lightweight flywheel, clutch, and then a Brembo brake kit that I made. So I looked at as far as my dimensions for my wheels, what size I wanna keep, and um, my braking aspects and how how heavy the car is. And I figure this is this would be a pretty good kit. It's a four piston brake caliper, uh, hat and rotor setup. So, um, two, I'm sorry, two piece rotor setup. So I'm gonna design that and I'll go through that with you guys down the road. I got a uh, sponsorship with Koenig going. So um, I got these beautiful 15 by eight countergrams and they are sweet with 205 5015s on them. Um, super stoked to get these going here. I had them on the car for a little bit, but it rubs in the back. Um, I need to roll out the fenders just a little bit, maybe pull them. Um, we'll see. But uh, those things are amazing. The grip is phenomenal. They're, uh, oh man, they are, uh, that's right, they're, they're the Falcon Azenis. That's right, Treadwear 200. Those things grip like no tomorrow. 
And then I got a custom TDO4 turbo. It's a TDO13 with a TDO19 turbine wheel, I believe. So kind of a, a little bit of a crossover. So I got this guy that I'm gonna throw on. Um, I'd rather start with a smaller size stuff and move up. So that's gonna be the turbo. Uh, I got a Kaz one and a half way LSD that I'm gonna throw into the transmission, bunch of gauges. Um, this is my oil setup. So I got an oil cooler here and the uh, Amishimoto, what is it called? Uh, Amishimoto, Amishimoto thermostatic sandwich plate for the oil cooler. Absolutely beautiful. So got that puppy. All right, so um, basically what uh, we're gonna have done to the car is I already had the rear sway bar in. I just need to get a rear pan handle bar for when I lower the car as an adjustment. Um, I've got a front sway bar coming in. I'm gonna fix the seat. I might do the passenger seat as well at some point. Um, once the seat is done, then I'll upgrade my steering wheel so I know how far in if I want the steering wheel with an offset or not on it. Um, I'll do that. I have a bunch of gauges. I would like to put in some rally lights, some detachable rally lights. So on the front and the bumper, um, I'm gonna make a module with rally lights that are that's disconnectable so that when I go up the mountains or if I'm out hooning, that I'm gonna hook them up and I get a really nice broad uh, light coverage for uh, at night. Uh, I'm gonna do the front brake kit. I'm also going to do a rear brake kit. I'm looking at Miata brakes. I think I'm just gonna stick with Miata brakes. They're everywhere. There's a lot of stuff for them. They're, you know, self-explanatory. Um, I already have the new rims and tires with the Koenigs. Absolutely beautiful. I will paint the car at the end of the year once all my um, performance upgrades are done. Once the car is set and it's good, it's dialed in and it's like doing good, then I'll strip the stickers and paint the thing but we still got a bit to go before that. Um, I also might do a new spoiler down the road, get rid of the old one and design a spoiler. I'm not sure if I'm gonna have just like a, a rear, like a lip, like a NASCAR kind of spoiler or like an actual wing. Um, we will see. Uh, and then uh, the tint. And that's pretty much it. But the turbo setup is gonna be the main thing is that once I have the engine installed, I have to take the transmission, the new one, I have to mate it, and then I have to design a new bracket for that. And then, you know, there's so much, so much that needs to be done. So, yeah, got a lot of work ahead of us, but big things coming, big things coming. The whole idea of the car is just to basically update it on performance, making it from a slow sale to a somewhat quick paseo. Um, I had a blast driving this car for the past four years, and the past year, I, was, I have been relentless on it. ridiculous oil leak 
Really couldn't have asked for a better car. It gets great gas mileage. I have a ton of fun with it. It's lightweight. It's practical for the most part. Um, I really don't have any complaints, to be honest. It's just slow in a straight line, so that's it. <laughs> Other than that, in the turns, it's a blast. Um, I definitely have a lot of fun with it. So, yeah. Gonna just gonna spice it up a little bit and uh, see who we can surprise out there on the track. But it's a uh, it's about to get real fun, <laughs> real fun.